อกจากทุ่งข้าวเขียวขจีเต็มไปด้วยวิถีชีวิตและวัฒนธรรมแบบไทยภาคกลางมานับตั้งแต่อดีตเมืองไชน่าจะมีทีมฟุตบอลระดับไทยพีเมียร์ลีกที่มีนักเตะทั้งชาวไทยและชาวต่างชาติจากหลากหลายทวีปเข้ามาร่วมสร้างสีสันในสนามฟุตบอลแต่ละสัปดาห์สวัสดีครับ My name is Siam Pawa, defender of China FC. My number is 34, Sam Sipsi. ท่ามกลางวัฒนธรรมที่แตกต่างอาหารในสไตล์ยุโรปดูจะเป็นรสชาติที่คุ้นเคยมากกว่าสำหรับ Siam p o w e r ประการหลังชาวตุรีแดดแอนโทเบโกแห่งสโมสรชัยนาทฮอนบิลที่ต้องลงเล่นฟุตบอลและปรับตัวเข้ากับการดำเนินชีวิตอันแสนสงบในฤดูกาลที่สองของตัวเขา Yeah, actually I have, you know, and to be honest, some of the food are a little spicy, so I I try to stay away from the spicy food as much as I can. But sometimes I just can't help it, you know. I've been introduced to this by some of the players. I try not to eat it too often or too frequently, like before games and stuff like this. I love, I like like k o p a t k a i Actually, the food looks very delicious and tastes very delicious also. But as I said, it's very spicy. Actually, yes, this place is quite relaxing for me and for professional football. I think there's not much distractions here, so you can, you know, relax and play your trade comfortably. You know, the people here are like family, and this is one thing I like because you know, you go to the streets and everyone, you feel accepted, and this is a main thing for me. You know, coming from a different culture, different part of the world, and coming here and be, being accepted by these people. All goes well for me. This is very. This is at. I feel at home here. I'm not one for the limelight and you know parties and stuff like this. I like to be very much alone at times, you know, and relax. So sometimes I take cool drives along the riverside and just relax, you know, reflect on my football life and everything like this. Football is a game that Sion Power chose to play and has a fan base that is stronger than the Premier League. He started his education in the country of Sion Power in Trinidad and Tobago. ซึ่งที่นี่ไม่ได้มีเพียงแค่เกาะและท้องทะเลเท่านั้นความสงบและงดงามคือเสน่ห์และความหมายของท้องทะเลแคริบเบียนที่ผู้คนทั่วโลกใฝ่หา The Caribbean is like a getaway place you want to relax you want to have fun you want to enjoy everyone is very laid back accepting you know and this is a good place honeymoons like holidays destination places for this so That is why, as as I get time off, I head to places like Phuket, Pattaya, because these places remind me so much of my country. You know, beaches, boats, you know, jet skis, everything like this, and good hotels just to relax. And this is it. This is the similarity between Thailand and my country. Football has been the top sport for my country for as long as I can tell. But recently, there's um cricket. And cricket is very much competing with football in my country at this time. It's top in the country, so I say that these are the two top sports in my country: cricket and football. I wouldn't say I choose. I was brought up in a football family. My mom played football. My dad played football. My dad was my first coach. We um, he have we have um, a team back home, youth team. I came up in this program, so more or less I was brought up in football. I didn't. I wasn't given a choice. ถ้าจะกล่าวถึงตะไวยอกนี่คือตำนานผู้พาทีมชาติเรดแดดแอนโทเบโกผ่านเข้าสู่รอบสุดท้ายฟุตบอลโลกปี2006ตะไวยอกจึงเป็นต้นแบบและแรงบันดาลใจให้เด็กหลายๆคนในประเทศรวมทั้งซีออนพาวเวอร์ด้วยเช่นกันแน่นอนว่าครั้งหนึ่งที่ได้ลงเล่นร่วมกับนักเตะระดับตำนานของประเทศอย่างตะไวยอกย่อมเป็นประสบการณ์ที่เขาไม่มีวันลืม I think um every footballer around my age group back in my country dreamed of playing in England. For the mere fact that coming up, we saw Dwight York playing for Manchester United, and this was every young player's dream. Yeah, Dwight York is a living legend. You know, he is an ambassador for our country, a role model. Anything good, name it. This guy is it. I have the privilege of playing with this guy on two occasions, but I've been in with him in camps. I wasn't selected on the team at these times, but I've, I'm just being around these guys was a big experience and a big accomplishment for me. So I wouldn't want to say I want to play like Dwight York because this guy, you know, he's a centre forward. If I come out here and say I want to play like Dwight York, that will be, you know. But I would like to follow in his footsteps in terms of giving youths in my country hope, so you know they can look up to someone and say, well, you know, this guy made it. Because back home there are a lot of crime now and stuff like this, so if you can help one or two youths to get out of this, I think 
this is this is good. สภาพอากาศที่อบอุ่นซึ่งใกล้เคียงกับประเทศบ้านเกิดเป็นส่วนหนึ่งในการตัดสินใจเดินทางสู่ไทยพิมพ์เมลีของซีออนพาวเวอร์แม้ลีแข่งนี้กําลังจะเริ่มพัฒนาแต่กลับมีความแข็งแกร่งไม่น้อยเลยทีเดียวซึ่งเขาต้องปรับตัวให้เข้ากับแนวทางฟุตบอลในเมืองไทยไม่ว่าจะต้องลงเล่นในตําแหน่งกองหลังหรือแม้แต่ศูนย์หน้าก็ตาม Before 2013, I, I knew about the Thai Premier League through my friend. We were, we were on the national team together in the Caribbean Cup finals, and he spoke to me about this league and about the team, and asked me if I was interested. I actually had like opportunities to go on trials to Poland and Iceland, but I opted to come here for the mere fact of the weather. I wasn't able to cope with the cold, I think, you know, and I think the weather here was more. Conducive to me. I think the standard of the Thai Premier League is strong and it's continuously growing. In the fact that I watch the Asian Champions League and before, like I go into archives and I watch, I see teams, Thai teams wouldn't make it, or if they made it, they will surely get beaten. And now they are being very competitive in this, and I think this augurs well for Thai football. Currently, I'm a defender, but growing up as a kid, I was more of an attacking player. I like to win. And I will do anything to win to, that I can do to help the team to win. So sometimes you see me in <laughs> playing striker. It is not my choice, but that of the coach. And I think if he sees it fit for me to go on and play as a striker with tactical reasons, I think it's okay for me. I think the, the mindset is difficult to adapt the mindset because sometimes you know, in one game I play like two positions. Sometimes I play defense, and after I go on top. I say, but I adapt quickly. Yeah, I'll play any position. I'm still contemplating goalkeeping, but I don't know. สโมสรชัยนาทฮอนบิวเป็นดังครอบครัวเล็กๆที่ผู้คนในเมืองเต็มไปด้วยแรงบันดาลใจของฟุตบอลซีออนพาวเวอร์ได้สัมผัสถึงความฝันอันยิ่งใหญ่ของประธานสโมสรที่ต้องการจะสร้างให้ทีมแห่งนี้เติบโตยิ่งขึ้นไปในไทยพรีเมียร์ลีกโดยมีศรัทธาของเหล่าแฟนบอลที่พร้อมจะก้าวไปด้วยกันกับผู้เล่นทุกคนภายในทีม This team yes is not a big team. In the Thai Premier League at the moment, but I've been here for two years, and this team is constantly growing. And every day, you can see the team, the management staff, looking for ways to improve. And the president, he's a hard-working guy. He's a football fanatic. This guy loves football. The passion this guy has for football is unbelievable. And I think if some of the players in China FC can get this passion and this love for the game that the president has, in The near future, China would be a big team in the Thai Premier League. The fans here are extremely, extremely passionate, and I, I, I come to the stadium and I see like the fans are very family-oriented. In terms of you see not one person, but you see a guy coming out with his, his entire family, the elderly, the older folks, you know, the, the babies, everyone cheering China FC, and this for me. Makes me smile, makes me happy, and makes me want to do good for the team. ทั้งหมดนี้ก็คือมิตรภาพครอบครัวนกใหญ่ที่ซีออนพาวเวอร์ได้เรียนรู้ประสบการณ์และวิถีชีวิตที่แตกต่างทั้งในและนอกสนามจากสโมสรชัยนาทฮอนบิล